Hey, what's up, Productive Creators? Pat Gostek here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to format your external hard drive so it works properly on your Mac, but I will also show an option how to format your external hard drive so it also works well on a Windows machine so you can be as productive as possible when switching machines from Mac to Windows and Windows to Mac. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and hop on my computer. All right, so once you're on your desktop, go ahead, make sure to plug in the external hard drive and go to your final menu. You will probably see it here. In this case, this is a Western Digital Elements. I will link to my external hard drive in the description down below so you can check it out. This comes with the software but I would not recommend to install it. If you choose the context menu, you will see that you cannot do anything here. You cannot add new files, but this is for a reason because if you get the infos, you will see that the disk is formatted in the NTFS format, which is a Windows standard format. So you cannot really create any new files here. Whereas if I would go to my desktop, I could clearly add a new folder. This is not possible uh, with the NTFS format. That's why what you would like to do is go to your spotlight. So you can choose either spotlight or command space and type in disk utility. This is the tool that we will be using to format our disk. Make sure to show the sidebar and here make sure to not select the internal hard drive which is full at the moment as you can see but you choose the external one and really important is you have to click here and show all devices so if you don't show all devices only volumes you will only see this and uh, this way it's like not really possible to format it correctly you will need to go ahead and choose show all devices so you can see I select the external hard drive. It's the correct one. What you will now have to do is click on erase and then choose the appropriate format. Since it's a hard disk drive, the only two options that should be chosen here are macOS Extended Journal and XFAT. So don't choose case sensitive. I would just focus on the two options. This option is best if you just use your Mac. If you don't plan to use it on a Windows machine, then this is the format that is the best for your external hardware. So it works really fast. You don't want to choose APFS if you have a hard disk drive. This option is only good for SSD, not so good on hard disk drives. XFAT is the right choice if you want to use it on a Windows machine. And to be honest, I tested it with XFAT as well as macOS Extended Journal and both versions are really fast. A slight advantage if you use the Extended Journal, but there's like really a little difference in terms of speed, maybe a second or two, so it doesn't really matter. So if you want the most universal hard disk drive that you can use on any device, I would go for XFAT. And that's what I actually choose because I want my editors to be able to open the hard drive without any issues if they use a Windows machine. So I will go ahead and rename it to Productive and click on Erase. And as you can see, the formatting is done. You can now go to your Finder where you can open up the hard drive. It has been renamed, it's empty, and I can now create new folders. So which option did you choose, XFAT or maybe macOS Extended? Let me know in the comments below, I'm curious to know. If you like that kind of videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out another video on our channel which you will see here on the screen. Until next time, stay productive and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.